At what point did you know you were starting on Saturday? Uh, I didn't know until we went out, honestly. Uh, we just kept repping and obviously you guys know there's a competition and uh, it's a good competition. We're all pushing each other and it, I think it's really healthy for us because uh, it all makes us play to our best every snap and makes us put you no know, plays off. So I think it's healthy. So what was your reaction when you go out there and find out you are going to be starting? <laughs> just play, really. I play. I started in the cotton bow, so um, really, if you go out there, uh, you panic and you think about the big picture that oh, I'm starting. You either good, do too good. So I go out there with confidence and uh, just make sure that I just do my job and make sure I can play for my teammates. How do you feel like you guys handled the, that switch? I mean, every single drive, it was someone different. Yeah, like I said, I think it's good. It's healthy for us. Uh, you know, I think it's a challenge for all of us to step up and when we go in to make sure that there's no drop in any of the changes. And, uh, you know, we're, 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 there's no health, there's no like, you know, bad relationships between us. You know, we encourage and we push each other. So well, anytime anyone goes out there, you know, I'm screaming for them on the sideline. I'm sure they're screaming for us. And uh, when we come off the field, we're talking, making sure everything's communicated so that if whoever, whichever group goes in, everyone's ready. How have you seen yeah, he's really talented, man. I love that kid. He brings it. He's quiet, but man, when he comes on this field, he's ready to play. So I'm happy for him. Um, you know, as a freshman, it's really hard to do that. So he's doing good things right now. How do you think you played in the first game? <laughs> man, I I'll never be satisfied with how I played. If coaches tell me good job. I'm gonna find something that I need to fix. My dad tells me good job. My dad's my big, biggest critic, so if he tells me good job, that's kind of odd to me. So I'm my own big, biggest critic, actually. So if he says something good, I, I also deny. I'm just I'm always hard on myself, really. Um, I gotta improve on my run blocking. I gotta improve on my physicality, communication, everything. You ask me one thing, if I gotta improve on it, yes, I gotta improve on everything. Speaking of your dad, I, uh, I interacted with him in the, in the stands before the game, so I, I knew that he was there. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like to have your, your family in the stands and you know, have them see you start? Yeah, I haven't been home in over a year and a half. Uh, I got a little emotional. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's rare. Um, being from how far I come from, uh, a bunch of challenges I have to go through. Um, you know, I just had a lot of people help me out. My partner, uh, she wasn't there, but everyone helps me a lot, so I'm grateful for them. Did your dad say good job after the game or not? <laughs> he did, and I didn't believe him. <laughs> I didn't believe him. Yeah, I'm just hard on myself, really. I'm always hard on myself. What impresses you the most about Alani in terms of just like the skills that he has and the talent he brings to that position? His physicality, really. Us Polynesians, I grew up in a Polynesian household. The big things respect and discipline. And, uh, <laughs> man, it's discipline big time in the Polynesian household. So for us, there's, we have at least 100 cousins. Like right now, I got at least 100 plus cousins. I went to Alaska for visit some family. And, <laughs> man, there's a lot of kids. So, uh, I mean, there's young kids playing with older kids. So we get roughed out a lot in the Polynesian household. So, I mean, we're rough with each other. But that kid, man, he's really physical. And once you get down the plays, he's going to be real dangerous, really dangerous. Do you guys get much feedback from Caleb during the game? Yeah, uh, he mostly mostly encourages us, but um, he's a really good player. So most times, if we mess up, he makes us right. But if something needs to be said, something will be said. And uh, yeah, we always communicate, though. We always encourage each other. You had the biggest smile on your face after Zachariah took that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like when he sends you guys back to the bench after? Man, I'm not gonna lie. I've been a little sick this week, so. I've been like stuffy and <laughs> I was a little out of breath. So I was still catching my breath. So, I mean, really, I was like, here we go. I started to take a deep breath. We're about to go out, take a drive. And he took it to the house. And I was like, man, <laughs> that kid is really good. I mean, you guys see it on social media. I ain't going to say anything about it, but that kid's really talented. Um, I'm sure he's, he's he wants to improve in other areas, but that kid's going to be a really good player. Let's do one more. When you hear. You know, maybe the defense didn't perform up to their standards or what they wanted to do. How does the offense, when you're in the locker room, how do you guys pick them up and make sure that they, they feel like they did their job? Uh, we pick them up when we're on the field. You know, if the, the defense gets scored on, we our job is to make sure we pick them up by going back there and scoring for them. 
Um, personally, I think the defense did a good job. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm sure they're not satisfied because, like I said, our standards are high as a team. And uh, if we want to go where we want to go with our goals, we, we need to play way better than that. And not even us offense is satisfied. So we all have errors that we want to improve in, and we're really hungry now. And uh, we, need, we need to prove it uh, by just how we play in the field. Thank you. Thank you guys.